to worship on this the Lord's Day. Listen, good morning again and welcome to the New Ebenezer Baptist Church. Welcome to New Web. Welcome to New Web. You are in. That is still. And the Spirit of God. So just let Jesus in. So just let Jesus in. Welcome to New World. You are in. That is filled with love. And his spirit. So just let Jesus in. So just let Jesus in. We welcome you once. We welcome you twice. We welcome you three times. Welcome, 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 welcome. Amen, amen. Our scripture reading for this morning, Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepareth the table before me in the presence of my enemy. He anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you for just being good, kind, and merciful. Thank you, O oh God, for just being God. Thank you, O oh God, for just leading and directing us. Thank you, O oh God, for just being the head over our lives. Thank you, O oh God, for all that you've done for us. And Lord, right now in this sanctuary, we tell you thank you because you've been good to us, you've been kind to us, You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. So on this fourth Sunday, Lord, we praise your name. We give your name glory. We give your name honor. We give your name all the praise. We love you, God. We say fall in this place. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh in this place. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh in this place. Spirit of the living God, Fall fresh in this place. Spirit, fall fresh in this place. We give your name glory. We give your name honor. We love you in all things. We pray, amen, and thank God. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Come on, we got to sing it like we mean it on this morning. Time is filled. Time is filled with swift transition. Not of earth, not of earth, unmoved can stand. Build your hopes, build your hopes 
all things eternal. Hold to God, hold to God, unchanging hand. Everybody ought to hold to it. Hold on to God's un. You ought to hold. Hold on to God's un. You ought to build your hopes on things eternal. Lord, and hold to God. Trust in him. Trust in him who will not leave you. Whatsoever, whatsoever years may bring. If by earthly, if by earthly friends for sin. Still more close. Come on, my brother, won't you hold? Hold on to God. You ought to hold. Hold on to God's son. You ought to build your hopes on things eternal. Lord, and hold to God. Trust in him. Wait, God, uh, not this. I got happy, y'all. <laughs> That's so rapid that seek to gain trip. Oh, Lord, they will never. Come on, come on. Everybody ought to hold. Hold on to God's hand. You ought to hold. Hold on to God's hand. You ought to build your hopes on things eternal. Lord, and hold to God. When your journey, when your journey is completed, if to God, if to God you have been true, fair and bright, fair and bright, a home and glory, Come on, put your hands together. Yeah, in rapture, so with you. Everybody ought to hold. Hold on to God's hand. You ought to hold. Hold on to God's hand. You ought to build your hopes on things eternal. Lord, and hold to God. Come on, come on. Everybody ought to hold. Hold on to God's son. Lord, and hold. Hold on to God's son. You ought to build your hopes on things eternal. Lord, and hold. To God, our changing hands. Amen, amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm holding on to God's unchanging hand. That was the wrong neighbor. Tell your other neighbor, neighbor, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm holding to God's unchanging hands. Storms may rise, winds may blow. I might have to cross sometimes, but I'm holding on to his hands. I'm holding on. I won't let go of my faith. I'm holding to God's unchanging hand. Amen, amen, amen.
good morning and welcome to New Ebenezer. We are all so glad you have joined us today as we worship the Lord together. Thank you for sharing with us as we extend a warm welcome to our visiting family and friends. This morning at 11 a.m., we are to be the guests of the fifth pastoral anniversary of Pastor and Sister Frank Knowlton at the Leland Baptist Church, 22420 Finkel, Detroit, Michigan. All are asked to attend. Join the Pastor Support Ministry Weekend celebration Friday, August 5th at 6.30 p.m. Pastor John Williams in the Eastern Star Baptist Church will be here sharing as our guest. Please see the Pastor Support to sign up for the dinner. Sunday, August 7th, Pastor Alonzo Bell in the Martin Evers Baptist Church will share as our guest during our morning worship to climax the Pastor's Support Ministry Annual Weekend. Our BME State Convention will be held Tuesday, August 9th through Thursday, August 11th at 6.15 p.m. Each evening at the Messiah Baptist Church, 8100 West Seven Mile Road, Reverend Orville Littlejohn, host pastor, Reverend Wallace R. Mills, Jr., convention president. Today we are praying for Pastor Carl Curry, Reverend Ollie Chambers, Sister Latrice Burns, Brother Dennis Lay, Reverend Leonard Jones, Brother Jim Rhodes, Brother Horace Kegler, Sister Karen Patterson, Brother Rufus Brown, Sister Pearl Cotton, Sister Mary Jones, Sister Gina Joseph, Sister Layla Watkins, Sister Naomi Burrow, Brother Christopher Burrow, Sister Martha Wallace, Sister Chante Mulkey, Sister Connie Johnson, Sister Mamie Owens, Brother Gennaro Gray, Brother Earl Kegler, Mother Catherine Kegler, Mother Lola Livingston, Sister Eva Shannon, uh, Mother Catherine Kegler, uh, Brother Cedric Sutton, Sister Deborah Sharp, Sister Judy Jenkins, Sister Brenda Turnage, Brother Douglas Newberry, Brother Ned Gray, Deacon Orlando, Sister Valerie Ramsey and the family and the passing of their mother, Sister Janie Ramsey, Sister Helen Kane and the passing of her father, Brother Benjamin Moon, Sister Bridget Melton and family and the passing of her grandson, Jamal, the Felder and Du Bois families and the passing of Brother David Felder, the Epps and Slappy families and the passing of Brother Eric Epps, and the Gillison family and the passing of Pastor William Gillison. Let's please continue to lift those names mentioned in your prayers. Come on, we're going to do something today real simple. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Wonderful name, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, there's no other name. Out. There is power, there's power in the name of Oh, power in the name of there is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, no other name. There is healing. There's healing in the name of Jesus. Oh, healing in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. Oh, no other name. Come on, put your hands together. Come on.
Come on, bless that wonderful, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Lord, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name. Come on, there's power. There's power in the name. Oh, power in the name of there is power in the name of there no other name of there is hope there's hope in the name of Lord there's hope in the name of oh there's hope in the name of Jesus no other name I know there is power there's power in the name of Lord, power in the name of There is power in the name of Oh, no other name I know Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good today. Amen. You know, I thought when we got to this point in our life, things would, you know, calm down a little bit. But still going. There was a point when it seemed like we didn't bury nobody. And now every time we look up, somebody's going on. But in spite of it all, can you help me say in spite of it? God is still good. And so today we're going to tell him how much we love him. Amen. We love him in spite of it. We love him in spite of it. We magnify his name in spite of it. We glorify his name in spite of it. Because our hearts, hallelujah. Can you help me? Won't you help me? I love you. Uh-huh. 
y'all. My mind so belongs to you. Paid the price for me. Baby. Back on Calgary. Woo! I'll praise the Lord. Put them hands together and bless the Lord. Won't you do it? Put them hands together and bless him. Come on, put them hands together and bless him. Come on, put them hands together and bless him. Oh, you can do better than that. Put those hands together and bless him. How good the Lord is. 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 Lord, Lord, thank you again. For grace and mercy, love and kindness. Thank you again for another day. Another chance, privilege, and opportunity to be in your house. God, you've been good to us. In spite of what the enemy throws our way, you have still been good to us. So thank you again for reminding us that you are in charge of all things. All things are done in divine order. Bless now this Ramsey family. Bless this Milton family. Remind them of your availability and your promise to sustain us, 
to comfort us, to keep us, and to never leave us. Do it right now, as only you can do. Look at Sister Martha Wallace, touch her body. You are God who is in charge, sustainer of life and of death. So God, cover her now. Bless those who are meeting her needs. Cover them with compassion and grace, wisdom and knowledge. Bless Brother Dennis Lay right now. You know what he's going through, what he's encountering, and what he's dealing with. But God, you're God. And besides you, there is no other. Keep us whole. Keep us healthy. Keep us healed. And keep us in your will. It's preaching time. Pour in. Allow us to pour out. That when we leave the place, we leave better, not because of us but because of your word. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. The saint says amen, amen. and bless God. One more time, praise him. Won't you do it? Give me a little bit more volume. Give me a little bit more volume. Listen, beloved, how good and how pleasant it is for us to dwell together in the Lord's house one more time. Somebody say one more time. The Lord has kept us and brought us together again. We certainly are praying for all of those who desire uh, the prayers of our church on today. We certainly lift Deacon Orlando and Valerie uh, in prayer and the passing of their mom, Sister Janie Ramsey, member of our church. We're certainly praying that God would comfort them and that God would keep them as only God is able to do. Praying for Sister Bridget Melton and family in the tragic loss of her grandson, uh, even today, I remind her that God is an able God, a righteous God, and that God comforts and God keeps us as we walk through life and life situations. Whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you're dealing with, I just want to let you know it's going to be all right. Somebody ought to say amen with me right here. It's going to be all right, for God never leaves us, nor does God forsake us. God takes care of us and only God. Amen. Listen, in just a few moments, we're going to be the guests of the Leland Baptist Church. Pastor Frank Noten, so uh, Noten is celebrating their anniversary. We're going to go over and share with them in just a few moments. But I want to take a moment or two and just kind of encourage the hearts and minds uh, of the members of our church, those who are watching us virtually, those in the sanctuary, those who are listening to us as well uh, on the conference call line. I just want to take a moment and remind you and encourage you and bless you because the Word of God has a way of doing just that. Somebody say, just that. The Word has a way of doing just that. Habakkuk chapter number 2 and the B part of verse 4. Habakkuk chapter 2, the B part of verse 4. Rebecca chapter 2, just a few moments, won't be long, make our way to Leland. Rebecca chapter 2, and the B part of verse 4, says the just shall live by his faith. Y'all see it? The B part of the verse, the just shall live by his faith faith. I want to do a little sermon simply entitled The Just. The Just. The Just. Certainly solicit your prayers for preaching on today that the Lord might have his way in, in preaching. What do we do when it seems like life has trumped us? What do we do when it seems like evil has prevailed. What does it do when it looks like the enemy has won and leaves you and I, beloved of God, in a life situation where it seems as though we're battling all by ourselves? What do we do? Ask your neighbor, what do we do? What do we do when we're trying to figure it out and we don't have the answers? We're trying to work our way through it, but we don't know which directions to actually take. 
What do we do when it seems as though it is bigger than us, stronger than us, more powerful than us, and seems as though it has taken control over us? Anybody ever been there? Well, it just seems like for some unforeseen reason, life without our permission comes knocking at our doors. Life seems to invade our emails, our text messages, our phone calls. Life just seems to come. Don't ask us, is it okay? Is it, is it permissible for it to just stop by and to invade our private space? It just seems like it shows up unaware. What do we do? Ask your neighbor, what do we do? When life knocks us to our feet, life has a way of knocking us to our knees. What do we do? When life gives us a pain so deep we don't know how to reach it, and no matter what we take, seems like it just don't want to go away, what do we do? When life seems to grab us by the throat, and seems to almost shake life out of us. Hey, y'all ain't never been there before? Well, life seems beloved of God to grab hold to us by the hand and won't let us go. Well, the prophet Habakkuk says to you and I, who profess the believers and call ourselves the just, what he says to you and I is that we are individuals beloved of God who live by faith. Faith, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We're the individuals who walk by faith. We walk in the unseen. But yet we believe in the magnificent power of the God of our salvation. Y'all should know me preach. I only got 10 minutes. He reveals to you and I, beloved of God, faith, the thing that makes us hold on to what we cannot see but yet believe in the invincible powers of the God of our salvation. Faith that tells you and I that even though it looks like it's a gruesome moment, it's prime opportunity for the God of our salvation to work in our lives. The just shall live by faith. When you nestle and read the pages of Rebecca, what Rebecca does is cause us to continuously trust in God. Rebecca has a way of putting the believer on spot, putting the spotlight on us. Rebecca simply says to us that regardless to what it is, that we got to keep trusting in the God of our salvation. Habakkuk is powerful because Habakkuk reveals to you and I, beloved of God, that the God that we serve are individuals who understand the permissive power of the God of our salvation. They call Habakkuk strange, prophet preacher with a strangeness about his ministry. Habakkuk was so strange, beloved of God, the record said that while Habakkuk was watching Judah, as Judah was blatantly sinning, paying God no attention, just simply doing what they wanted to do and was wise enough to sin in the open and did not care what nobody said about it. Rebekah looks at Judah. As Judah lives a life sinfully, seemingly with no restraints. No restraints simply means that Judah just didn't care. And that Judah was just going to do what Judah wanted to do. Habakkuk seen it. Habakkuk understood it. Habakkuk watched it. But Habakkuk, beloved of God, even in his strangeness, he lays out for you and I three ways to be able to deal with sin, Satan, and what Satan throws our way. Y'all ever heard me preach? I got to go real quick. He lays out three, three things. The record says that what Habakkuk does is looks at the situation. He does not, Murphy, become confrontational. He does not try to hold a conversation. Nor does he try to prove his point. The record said the first thing Habakkuk does was he prayed. 
Y'all should really help me preach. Habakkuk, Habakkuk prayed. Habakkuk seen what was going on in society. Habakkuk seen what was wrong in Judah. Habakkuk understood that Judah and the nation was out of order. Habakkuk understood that the people had literally lost their minds. And the record says, Habakkuk prayed. Help me preach somebody. Habakkuk prayed. Habakkuk prayed. The reason Habakkuk prayed is because Habakkuk knows that there was power in prayer. And that God listens to the voice of the saints who calls him in prayer. The first thing Habakkuk says to you and I, I just want to talk to y'all for a moment. The first thing God, Habakkuk says to you and I, uh, uh, Bridget and, and, and Orlando and, and others who are going through Trina, y'all, the first thing God says to us is that you ought to pray. Before, beloved of God, you allow it to control you. He said you ought to just call on my. Call on his name. Habakkuk said, because the just believes in the power of a prayer. Y'all ain't going to help me preach up in here. Reach over and tell your neighbor, neighbor, the just believes in the power of prayer. The record declares the prayers of the righteous, they availeth much. In other words, everybody can't pray for me, Miss Cece. I want the righteous to pray for me. Everybody can't call my name before God. I want the just to call my name before the master. He says to us, pray. Then we're divided or are reminded by the scripture that when we pray, then we pray without Jesus. Pray without ceasing. We call on God in a magnanimous way. The record says he prayed. Secondly, the record declares unto you and I that he waited for the Lord to respond. See, beloved of God, old folk used to say he may not come. Season saints, will you want him? But he's always on time. Rebecca understood the situation that he was in, the depths of what was going on in society. Rebecca understood that when you pause and look at the evilness of God, that if you are not careful, the evilness of Satan, that if you are not careful, the evilness of Satan will pull you down, strip you down, knock you down, and tear you up. But the record says, that Habakkuk waited on the Lord. For he understood, beloved of God, that they that wait on the Lord shall renew their, their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Tell your neighbor, wait on him. Tell your other neighbor, don't be discouraged. Wait on, on the Lord. What some of y'all are going through now is bigger than you. But if you wait on him, I wish I had five people that's been there that could testify, Pastor, I've been there before. And I found out prayer does work. That waiting on the Lord does renew my strength. Then lastly, he says, and live by faith. Reach over and tell your neighbor, keep living. What he reveals to us is there's not a season to give up, nor is it a season to give in. It's not a season to turn your back on God, nor is it a season to walk away from the provisions of God. He reveals unto you and I that we must keep on living. Though we dare not understand what's happening. Though it seemed like the wickedness of the world has become more rapid. Seemed like evil and wrong is all around us. But then the good news is I'm going to keep on 
living. Help me close right here. Get your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, keep on living. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Somebody said with me, and he shall direct your path. Tell your brother neighbor, say, leaning on Jesus. Leaning on Christ the Savior. While I'm walking by faith, storm may rise, winds may blow, hell howl might get on the trail. Yeah. Seem like the enemy might be in control. But oh, somebody say, oh, oh I got a friend in Jesus. I got hope in the Savior. I believe in him that conquers death, hell, and the grave. I walk with him who died for my sins. I walk for him who gives me a new life. I trust him that got up Sunday morning with all power in his hands. The just shall live by faith. Bridget, somebody going to question you. Where was your God? What was your God doing? Tell them your God was being God. And that the word of God declares, Satan come but to steal, kill, and destroy. My God comes that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Brock, abundant life is just not here. Abundant life is living for God here in the blessings of God and then to live for God eternally with the master, the just, the righteous, the saved, the called out, the believers, Orlando. We walk by faith. Somebody asks you all oh, what you're going to do. Tell them I'm going to keep believing. I'm going to keep testifying. I'm going to keep singing. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep teaching. I'm going to keep testifying. Why? Because I'm a part of the just. And the just shall live by faith. Maybe you're watching us virtually and life has grabbed a hold to you. Listening to us conference line and life has grabbed a hold to you and the situation seems bigger than you I want to encourage you today don't give up matter of fact I better clarify this don't give up on God because he won't Give up on you. Keep trusting him. I sure don't mean to mess with nobody today, but I'm so tired of Negroes want you to put all your faith and trust in them as though they're superior, supreme, and perfect. You better put your trust in him that's able to keep you from falling. And to allow you to live your life in the abundance of his grace. This invitation is for you. 
my brothers and my sisters. This invitation is for you. This is your invite. The Lord says, the day you hear my voice, heart, not your, your heart. The day you hear the word proclaim, and God speaks to you through the word, you can surrender your life to him. This invitation is for you. Come on and accept him now as the Lord and Savior of your life. This is your invitation. In the sanctuary, virtually watching us. Pastor Mills, I want to give my life to Christ. I want to renew my relationship with the Master. This invitation is yours. This invitation is yours. Man, woman, boy, or girl. You can come and be forever blessed. This is your invitation. This is yours. I'll fight. You watching us virtually? Put it in the comment section. I want to give my life to Christ. I want to give my life to Christ. Put it in the comment section. I need somebody to call me. Or call our church, 313-361. 0087. This invitation is yours. One more time. This is your invitation. In the sanctuary, you can renew. You can renew and accept him. This invitation is yours. Come, won't you? I'll never. I'll never. If you would only trust me, trust me, trust me. Trust me. this is your reputation. Saved and you know you're saved, no doubts about it. Put them blessed hands together. Let's worship the Lord together. How good the Lord is. How good the Lord is. Oh. How good the Lord is. Let's prepare ourselves for giving on today. Let's prepare ourselves for giving. Also, actual prayers for the Pace family. Just a couple of weeks ago, I stood here in the sanctuary of the church. Done the funeral services for Brother James Pace Jr. And his nephew was here talking about how close the uncle was to them and how the uncle had played such a major role in all of their lives. His mom called me the other day on my way to Buffalo to tell me that her son had went on to be with the Lord after talking about his uncle just a couple of weeks earlier. No man knows the day or the hour. I keep trying to get us to see that God is in control. Therefore, we got to live our lives as believers, always prepared and always ready. Somebody say amen. amen. Let's prepare ourselves to give it. If you need an envelope, please hold your hands up. The ushers will assist you real quickly. If you need an envelope, please hold your hand up. They will assist you real quickly. If you did not give on your way into the sanctuary. All right, let's stand in in preparation for giving. We're standing at home as well. Standing at home as well. Get that Givelify app in your hands. Get that Givelify app in your hand. All of our members are asked to go with us to Leland. Encourage all of you all to come on and go with us. This is our first time sharing with Pastor Noten in anniversary. Amen. Pastor Noten is a son of this church. Give me another basket. Give me another basket. Pastor Noten is a son of uh, of this church as well. I want to get I want to get an offering for him as well on today. There's a tray right there. Come quickly. 
Y'all get an extra offering in your hands so we can be a blessing to Pastor Norton when we go to Leland as well. Get a good offering in your hand. Get a good offering in your hand. Come on to the center. Come on to the center. Send the trays for Pastor Norton on today. Get a good offering. Come on, let's stand. All standing all over the building. Standing all over the sanctuary. Let's stand. Let's stand. Let's stand. Lord, we thank you now for the opportunity to give. Bless now the gifts and the givers. Let it be used for the purpose of which it is received. You get glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Make your way to the outer aisles and come around the outer aisles. Make your way to the outer aisles. Come around, bring your gifts. Come on around, bring your gifts. Come around, bring your gifts. Bless you, bless you. Those of you who are watching virtually, you can send your gift through Givelify. Say in your giving, this is for Pastor Noted. We will make sure that he receives it. We will make sure that he receives it. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your gifts. <laughs> Thank you for your gifts. Come on, let's stand. Come on, let's stand. Come on, let's stand. Let the church say amen. We make our way to the Leland Baptist Church. Let the church say amen. Let the church God has spoken. Oh, yeah, let the church say amen. Oh, God has spoken. Let me also, let me also ask that we remember Sister Helene Moon in our prayers. Sister Helene's dad passed there in California. I don't know when uh, Sister Helene is preparing to go to California, but I'm asking that we will certainly keep Lane lifted uh, and covered in our prayers uh, as well. Amen. Let's do that. Now may the love of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, may rest rule abide with us henceforth now and forevermore. Every heart says amen, amen, amen. God bless you. See y'all at Leland.